Joey Brioso, Marketing Manager of GFAX International. Welcome to How to Start dito sa GFAX International. Once na maging member ka sa ating company, ang unang-una kailangan natin gawin ay umatend ng training. Ito yung lagi namin sinasabi na training is the backbone in building your network. Bakit? Sa gantong business, para maging successful ka, kailangan ka magkaroon ng napakalaking network. At sa pagkakaroon ng malaking network, meron tayong dalawang bagay na babaguhin sa iyong sarili. Ang una dyan, yung tinatawag nating mindset. Pangalawa, ang kailangan nating ma-acquire ay yung tinatawag nating skill set. Sa pag-attend ng training, dito mo na-acquire yung tamang mindset na magpapatatag sa iyo sa negosyo natin dito sa GFOX. Bakit? Napakaraming discouragement ang nagaantay sa labas. At yon ang dapat nating paghandaan. Ang unang training na dapat mong puntahan ay yung tinatawag nating at least five times na product presentation. Napakahalaga na dapat knowledgeable ka sa mga products na ibinibenta natin dito sa ating company. Bakit? Ang ating mga customer ay very curious kung ano ba ang nagagawa ng mga products natin sa kanilang katawan. As a professional network marketer, dapat ikaw ay mas knowledgeable pagdating sa ating mga products. Pangalawa, ay yung tinatawag na at least five times ng marketing plan presentation. Napaka-importante na ito, lalo na sa pagbibuild ng ating network. Kasi ang una natin gagawin dito ay pag-aralan kung paano ba kumikita sa ating company at paano ba magkaroon ng magandang income dito sa ating business. Huli, kailangan kung naka-attend ka na sa dalawang trainings na yon, wag na wag mong kalilimutang umatid na ating tinatawag na NDO kung saan tinuturo paano ginagawa ng tama ang ating negosyo at paano ba makapag-invite ng tama. At least five times din. At lastly, kailangan mong umaten ng tinatawag nating leadership training. Sa leadership training, tinuturo paano ba maging successful na leader sa iyong network. Importante ito dahil balang araw, ikaw ay magkakaroon ng malaking grupo na kailangan mo silang ilid sa mga bagay na gusto nilang marating or ilid sila sa mga pangarap na gusto nilang makuha. So ito yung mga training na dapat nating atinan kasi ito yung mga trainings na magbibigay sa atin ng tamang knowledge at tamang skills para gawin ang GFAX International Business. What is Network Marketing? Ito ay sistema ng pag-move ng products from the factory down to your consumer or clients. Ibig sabihin, katulad din siya ng ibang industriya, ngunit ito po ay nagdadaan sa isang organisasyon. Ang maganda lang dito, ito pala ay sistema. Kaya pala merong recruitment sa ating negosyo para magkaroon ka ng organization na kung saan doon mo market ang yung products. Kaya sa tinawag ng network marketing, it's because meron kang market sa iyong network. Yan ang tunay na meaning ng network marketing. Ang mga network marketers naman, they are given commissions instead of paying media advertisement. So dito, iba ang traditional marketing sa tinatawag na network marketing. That explains why some of products sa network marketing ay walang commercial sa TV. Kasi sa negosyo natin, ang pinaka-best na advertisement is yung tinatawag na power of mouth, testimonies. So, para mo magkakaroon ng testimonies, dapat ikaw mismo ay gumagamit ng produkto natin. Pangalawa, ang network marketing po, this is a rejection business. Bawat tao na nasa labas, iba-iba ang mindset na kinalakihan. So, lagi mong tatandaan na hindi lahat possible na sumali o hindi lahat sasama sa negosyo natin para lalo kang maging matatag. The more na marami kang rejection na natatanggap, the more na mas lalo kang natututo at nagiging matibay sa negosyo natin. Mas mabilis or mas nagiging successful ka sa negosyo ito. Lastly, ang network marketing, this is a copy business. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin para maging successful sa negosyo ito ay gayahin lang ang mga tamang gawa ng ating mga uplines or sponsor na siyang nag-invite sa atin sa negosyong ito. Ang gagawin lang natin, observe, observe, and observe sa mga uplines natin na ginagawa yung negosyo. Kasi darating yung time, kapag nakabisado mo na yung ginagawa nila, ikaw na lang, kahit sa sarili mo, kaya mo nang gawin yung negosyo. 
Why Network Marketing? Number one, maging proud ka na network marketer ka. Bakit? Dahil ang network marketing industry ang highest record breaking in terms of global sales. Like gaming, like football, like movie industry, na kapag kinumpare mo ang global sales, network marketing pa rin ang may pinakamataas na record. Pangalawa, sa network marketing, ikaw ang boss. Masarap maging boss. Walang umahawak ng oras mo. Kaya mong gawin ng GPAC business anytime. Ikaw ang boss dito. Pangatlo, ang tinatawag na law of leverage. Ito yung mga bagay na nagpapagaang ng mga mabibigat na bagay. Like Henry C. Kahit matulog, kahit mag-golf yan, kahit mag-bakasyon yan, kumikita pa rin siya nang wala yung presence niya dun sa mismong negosyo. Yun din ang ginagawa natin dito sa ating GFAX business. Pagpaparami ng oras at sarili mo to other people. Next, ang network marketing ay portable business. Meron ka lamang laptop, papel at ballpen, or anything na kung saan pwede mo i-present ang negosyo saan ka man naroon. For example, nasa restaurant ka, nasa isang event ka, anytime pwede mong dalhin yung negosyo ng simpleng-simple. Next, ang negosyo natin ay equalizer. Sa negosyong to, ang maganda, kahit sino ka pa or kahit ano pa ang narating mo, pwedeng-pwede ka sa negosyong to. Ang mahalaga lang, meron kang determinasyon na makuha mga pangarap mo. Elementary ka man, high school ka man, kahit sino ka pa, kahit ano ka pa, basta may pangarap ka, pwede ka sa negosyong to. Ang network marketing, this is also a teamwork-based business. Hindi mo gagawin ang negosyo ng mag-isa. Meron kang team na tutulong sa'yo para gawin ang negosyo to. Pwede kang tulungan ng company, pwede kang tulungan ng iyong sponsor, pwede kang tulungan ng sarili mong team para palakihin ang network na magbibigay sa'yo ng magandang income. The more na marami kang natutulungan sa negosyo to, the more na nagiging successful ka sa negosyo ng GFAX International right attitude sa negosyong to. Ang number one attitude na dapat magkaroon ka ay yung tinatawag nating GLLA. Good learning and listening attitude. Kailangan meron kang humility. Alisin mo ang ego. Kailangan mo lang makinig ka sa mga tao naging successful sa negosyong to. Dahil meron ka ng good learning and listening attitude, lagi mo lang tatandaan na kapag a-attend ka ng training, always empty your cup. Ang baso, pag puno na ang laman at nilagyan mo ng panibagong tubig, tumatapon lang ang tubig. Tama? Kapag feeling mo, alam mo na yung mga bagay na dapat mong matutunan, hindi na pumapasok yung mga bagong learning. Avoid acne attitude. Alam ko na yan. Kailangan mo lang magkaroon good learning and listening attitude. Natututo ka. At kapag natuto ka, meron kang naituturo sa iyong grupo. At kapag meron kang naituro sa iyong grupo, naduduplicate mo na ang sarili mo. Yung tipong kaya na rin nilang gawin yung ginagawa mo. At kapag naduplicate mo yung sarili mo, nadidelegate mo na ang buong grupo mo. Na kung saan, habang nagtutok ka sa isang lugar, meron ding nagtutok sa ibang lugar na kagrupo mo. At kapag nangyari yon, nagkakaroon ka ng malaking network sa buong Pilipinas. Hindi lang sa buong Pilipinas even worldwide at ang malaking network mo ang magbibigay sa iyo ng malaking income para makuha mo mga pangarap mo sa negosyong ito. Next, ang kailangan mo lang gawin ay magkaroon ng tamang belief system sa ating kumpanya. Kailangan, wag ka nang mag-complain, wag ka nang mag-isip ng kung ano-ano sa kumpanya kasi lahat ng inisip mo, inisip lahat ng kumpanya para lang maibigay sa iyo ang magandang opportunity na to which is Bipax International. Believe in your company. Bakit? We have the best and professional owners ng company na siyang mag-guide sa iyo para sa iyong journey ng success. Pangalawa, believe in the products. Paano ka bibilib sa products mo kung ikaw mismo ay hindi gumagamit? So number one mong gagawin, gamitin mo lahat ng products para ikaw mismo alam mo kung ano yung effect ng products sa'yo. Kasi once na makausap mo ang isang client at hindi mo alam ang produkto, maaring mawala ka pati ikaw ay ma-demotivate. Be the product of your products. Pangatlo, believe in our marketing plan. Marami lang kumikita, marami lang tayong testimonies ng ating marketing plan. 
Kaya aalisin mo lang yung duda mo. Kasi pag may duda ka, hindi ka gumagawa ng aksyon. At kapag wala kang aksyon, syempre wala kang resulta. So ang gagawin mo lang, believe in the marketing plan. Sa marketing plan, makikita mo paano kumita, paano kumikita ang company, paano kumikita ang buong team. Number one, believe in our company, believe in our products, and syempre believe in our marketing plan. Lastly, yung ating tinatawag na commitment. Kapag nag-aaral ka sa negosyong to, tumataas ang belief system mo. At kapag tumaas ang belief system mo, tumataas din syempre yung tinatawag nating commitment. Kung ang tingin mo sa negosyong to, small time, I'm sure yung commitment mo small time din. Pero kung titingnan mo tong negosyong to ay big time, sure ako na ang commitment mo ay big time din. Kaya ikaw, na nanonood ng video nito, dahil mataas na ang commitment mo, ibigay mo na ang lahat ng dedikasyon at determination mo para makuha lahat ng gusto mong mangyari sa buhay mo at syempre sa buhay ng pamilya mo. Again, this is Jobit Brioso, Marketing Manager of GFAX International. Welcome to the company. Alright, welcome to GFAX International. So the next training is about 8 basic building block. The next step. After you understand the industry, what should you do? So are you guys ready? Let's begin. Now the eight basic building block is the first training about how to start the business that you should attend. Before you do anything, please sit down and watch this short video. The first basic building block, we call this as dream. Or some people say that the reason that you start the network marketing. Now, I want you to go back to the first day when people show you the opportunity and you think about it and you decided to sign the contract. So I want you to imagine and go back to that moment. What is the reason you signed the contract and decided to join GFOX International? When during the doubt happens, you need the dream to, to feel you, to push you, to continue the journey, right? Now, nothing will happen if you do not have the first basic building block, which is your dream. Some people say that they want to have a big house, right? Some people dream to have a fancy car. Make this first basic building block as real as possible. Something that you really care about. This is very important. Set it up, write it down, and make it into a dream board and put it in your room. Then the second basic building block is what we call commitment. So in our network marketing business, we have request two commitment. Number one is the time commitment. So how much time you willing to spend in this business. Example, in one week time, how many days you decided to commit to GFOX business? The higher the commitment it is, the faster that you achieve your dream. Now, if you have a downline or you yourself say that, oh, I only can spend two hours a week to do the business. Now, I need to be honest with you, the commitment is a little bit too small, so you might take even longer time to achieve your dream. Now, the second commitment that we ask from you is how many plans that you can show in the business. How many people you're willing to meet to, to present the business opportunities to them. Every month minimum you need to have 15 uh, different people that you need to meet to show the business presentations to them. Now again, I'm not talking about the products only, I'm talking about you go out and share with them the business opportunity. Now, uh, the commitment will slowly grow. Uh, this is very natural. Once you see the bigger check, your commitment will become bigger. Once your organization getting bigger, of course your commitment will getting bigger. Uh, but always remember that uh, you need the commitment to continue your journey. The third basic building block is called the lease. The lease is the crucial and the fundamental of our business. In the lease, we actually have two different lists you need to prepare. Number one is your dream list. Similar with basic building block, number one is the dream and the reason that you start the business. You cannot just say it out, you need to write it down and you need to visualize it, okay? So how many dreams you have? Doesn't matter, as many as possible. Whatever you want, write it down, okay? Now the next uh, list that you need to prepare is called name list. So everybody nowadays, we have cell phone, so when we ask about the the name list, they will show me the cell phone. Oh, this is all my name list. Now that doesn't count, okay? Anything that inside the digital things uh, doesn't actually go inside your mind. So we need you to write it down in the paper, in the organized way. So your name list can be this way. The name, the contact number, the requirement of them. For example, if they have financial need, put it there. If they have a health need, for example, they are actually having a cardiovascular disease problems, the hypertension problem, write down them, okay? So write down all the person that you know into the list. The list for the beginner, 
the minimum requirement, the name inside the list must not be less than 100. If you have a problem of coming out with 100 names now, meaning you have problems of prejudge. Regardless of whatever background or whatever situation the person is, as long as you know him or her, the name has to be into the list. So your duty is not to be the fortune teller, your duty is to write it down in your name list and find your time and show the business opportunity to them. Always remember that the 100 is the beginning, so your name list has to grow on the monthly basic. So how do you get able to grow the name list? Basically, you have to go out and socialize and get to know people, right? So that you can add on more name into the list. Number four, basic building block. After you already have the name list, of course, you have to start contacting and doing the invitations. We have a few skill and the rule of thumb here. Number one, never present the business opportunity over the phone. Don't do this. I call your friends or I just know about a company called G Fox International. That's not the way, right? The sole purpose of you having the name list and start contacting is to set an appointment to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with your prospect. So don't show too much information over the phone. Make sure that you give enough information for the person to be curious and to want to meet you to sit down to listen to a proper presentation. Bear in mind that if you are new, you might not know how to do a proper presentation. You can always consult your upline or you can always contact company. We can give you some tips. Never beg people to come for, for your invitation, all right? Maintain your posture. They need you more than you need them. Okay, now we are going to basic building block number five, which is showing the plan or business presentations. You need to give factual and right information to your prospect so that your prospect can do a diligence and intelligence decisions whether they want to be part of this amazing business opportunity. I always say that uh, some people will join, some people won't. So, just go to the next one and let them make their own decisions. For the newcomers, uh, we also have a rules for the showing the business opportunity. We have a 555 rules. The 555 rule is very simple. The first five that you already invited that you want to show the business opportunities, don't do the presentation by yourself. Get an assistant for your upline. I know you are very good, but let your upline do a demonstration for you. The first five, you will sit beside your upline, taking down the notes of how they do the presentations and let them do the closing for you. So your duty on the first five invite is to learn, okay? The next five that you invite, the upline will be the one who do the presentations, but halfway, the upline will ask you to come in. So two of you will work together to do the complete presentations. The last five, your upline has to be there as well, okay? You and your prospect. You do the whole presentations with the presence of your upline. So what your upline need to do is to sit there to take down the notes. And after the whole presentations, your upline will discuss with you how you can improve your presentation. So what happens if after 555, I'm still not very good in presentations? You can continue another 555 until you are very confident that you can do the presentation by yourself. Always remember that whatever happens during the presentation of your upline, make sure you keep your mouth shut. I do interrupt your upline because your upline is advisor. So your upline should be the one to complete everything. Even though your upline make a mistake, don't correct your upline on the spot. So correct your upline after the whole presentation, okay? So now we are on the sixth basic building block, which is the follow up or we call follow through. Now after you show the business opportunity to the prospect and to your guests, uh, some of them might take some time to decide. They might not join on the spot. So the next step you need to do is to do a follow up. You need to give a follow up within 48 hours. You cannot let your prospect go back and after one month, you start asking them if they want to join or not. So within the next 48 hours, the best way is to call, don't text. Call them, ask them for how they feel and are they ready to start the business? Or ask them to come up with a further discussion. In the business world, 80% of the closing sales happen through follow-up. Anybody who do not like to do follow-up do not deserve to do network marketing because you will lose 80% of the sales if you don't do follow-up. The number seven basic building block is contact your upline. You cannot do the business by yourself and yourself only. So here, we don't allow people to be alone. So we want you to join in to the team, join into the system, let's work hand in hand 
for your journey of success that keep you understand the latest information, the latest promotions. So we all have a doubt and we all have a downtime also. But if you always constantly contact your upline, that will always motivate you to continue the journey. Now, don't worry about that. If your upline is quick, you can always go one more level up to go for another upline. Let's say your next upline is also not available already. You can go one more level up again, one more level up again until you can even go all the way up to the company. So me and Jovi and all the team is always here to ready to support you. So don't feel alone. This is not a lone business, this is a team business. Now we are at the last basic building block, which is also very important. The eight basic building block, which is teach and duplications. Now in our business, it's all about duplications. Whatever you've done has to be duplicated down to your downline. So that your downline can duplicate to your downline. So the system can be duplicated so that the network will grow. Now after you watch this video already, so what you need to do is take the notes, memorize it, apply it in your business at the same time, teach your downline to start the business and doing the same process again and again. That's the eight basic building blocks. So let's recap everything you learned. The first basic building block is the dream. The reason you start the journey of network marketing, you need to have it. It has to be authentic. It has to be real. It has to be reminded to you again and again. As an upline, you need to know your downline dreams. As the downline, you need to always remind yourself about your dream. The second basic building block is the commitment. In the commitment, we require two commitments. One is the time commitment, how much time you're willing to spend to do your GFOX business. And number two is how many people you want to meet in a month, at least 15 people a month to show the business presentations. All right. Number three basic building block is the list. The list, we have two lists. One is your dream list, whatever you want to achieve through GFOX International, write it down, visualize it, make it into picture. And the next list is the most important list, which is the name list. Minimum of 100 names into the name list. Never prejudge. And number four, after you have the list, do the contacting and do the invitation. Never show too much information over the phone. Never show the business opportunity over the phone. Now, after that, do the business presentations. All right. After business presentations, some people will join. Some people think that they have to take some time to think about it. Do your follow up. Number seven, this is a contacting the upline. Always have the constant communication with the upline so that you can keep your fire and your uh, positivity going on. All right. Last but not the least. Is do everything from the one basic building block to the seven basic building block. Duplicate it, teach to your downline. So that's our eight basic building block. So my name is David Dan, President, CEO, and founder of GFOX International. So we welcome you to GFOX International.